What's up, warriors? Welcome back to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. In the previous episode, we saw the kind of first parts of the mystery of what happened to him. And there's a lot of unanswered questions. But now that I know how to kind of look for clues and solve the clues and put the story together, it should not take me as long <laughs> to figure out. So we're going to continue along the railroad tracks in this beautiful forest of what would otherwise be a lovely hike. I don't know where this is in the world, or if it's an imaginary world, but let's keep going. And see what we can find. Left or right, left or right, left or right. Right. Doesn't really matter, but <laughs> I'll, I'll get to the left side after I look at the right side. Okay. A rail station. Obviously. Let's just look up this path. This is just a path. Why were there traps at the beginning? What did that have to do? Was that something I could have solved? It might have been. Maybe I'll go back and do that. Uh, but I guess you don't need that to... You probably need that to, need that to get all the achievements. But not really finish the story, I'm guessing? If you do, I'll have to go all the way back. Oh. Ooh, there's a cabin up here. Honestly, this would be like such a lovely place to live. If it weren't for how spooky it could be. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. No, there is a cabin. Not a cabin. Whatever. A house. You know what I mean? And that looks like a cave. Maybe. Okay, it's not a cabin. Everybody hush. I just saw the roof and it looked like a cabin. Here we are. Um playing this game no trains have been through here for a long time that was part of a pattern large pieces of this country were thrown away doomed to become and then remain the worst versions of themselves beneath all that rot dark things grow Look at this! It's lovely! It's lovely! Moving on. So that was Ethan's grandpa and his dad. And there was like little hesitation in taking him out. But the grandpa killed the dad to save Ethan, right? So the dad was very convinced that Ethan needed to die. And I guess Ethan seemed on board, but the grandpa was like, no. No, Ethan must not die. You must die for trying to kill Ethan. I don't know. I, I have questions. It does not make sense. Okay. Ah, uh, right, left. Well, left is back. What is straight? It's 
to some viewing point. Oh, it's so pretty! It's so pretty! So there's a dam here. That's the lake, right? Except there's this. Well, that looks a little bit... Yeah. Okay. There might not be anything this way, but I'm looking just in case. Obviously, I can't go this way. Anywhere I try to look, it's just I can't go, so I must resist. I don't want to waste time. And this is blocked off, as I suspected. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back and then cross the bridge to the little village house. There's a word for it, but I can't remember what it is. Okay. And then it's also like very spooky at times. I've seen every version of people hurting each other, hurting themselves. And we blame it on compulsion, selfishness, madness. I suppose the idea is if you name a thing, you can control it. There are things in this world that cannot be named. I don't know about that. I do think, though, that it, easy, it is easier to fight something when you know what it is you're fighting. Hmm. Everybody is fighting something. It's hard when you don't know what it is you're fighting because then you don't know how to combat it. But just do what you know to do. Right? That's all you can do. And then try to encourage people around you and help them. Why did the music stop? Ooh, where is everybody by the way? Why is is why is everybody gone? Why is everything vacant? This is such a lovely location. Like, this would be such a cool little village. Little hustle and bustle. Imagine Halloween time, the trick-or-treating. Mm? Mm? Halloween is approaching, by the way. Okay. I'm gonna go in these houses. For some reason. I'm just checking out. If there's anything down here, get that out of the way. I really like the the like lush, the moss, the the fallen leaves. Even like the mud, the dirt road, the trees and the rocks. All right, we're going to go let's go up to this one first. See if there's anyone inside. Anybody at home? Oh, look at this Tudor style building. Very nice. Very broken down, but you know. Look at the mountains! Oh! Oh, it's so pretty! Wow, this is really. Sorry, it's really pretty to look at. It's just nice to look at. This is like a hiking simulator. Travel simulator. Alright. 
What do we got? What is this? It's a ship. Read. Yes. Okay. I inv <laughs> I invoke the boneless one, the one of voids, destroyer of ships, and he who is feared by the winds. Hear me, great minister Focalor. I wish to make a pact with you to confound my enemies and protect my possessions. Use the doors of confusion to cloud their judgment. Seal the path with falsity and guile and permit only those who can discern every true interior to pass. Adonai, Teodoro et tet, te invoco, amen. Did I write this? What is this? What is this? Why is this here? I've opened a portal to another world, apparently. Okay, clearly I'm supposed to go in there, but I, I want to look over here first. Ooh, and maybe go upstairs. This is really creepy. I bet it was lovely before it was abandoned. What is this here for? Oh, these people must have had a lovely view. Oh, this is horrible. Okay. These are memories and things. I guess I will go in the one downstairs first. Or I'm already up here, so I might as well do this one first. Ah. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh. Why is it getting creepier the, the less abandoned it looks? That better be me creaking. Oh, okay. So, what was that? Wait. Swap? Hold on, I missed that. I missed it! Hold on. It said swap. Swap between... It's, okay, it's probably what the house is now and what it was. Why am I moving like this? Do I need to read this again? I invoke the... I'm not gonna do that. Alright, let's just skip that and go right through the air. Alright, this one. Swap? What? Oh, this is really gonna confuse me. Oh, uh, this one looks creepy. Am I supposed to be, like, putting the house in its proper arrangement? Is that what I'm doing? Is that really what I'm supposed to do? Oh my gosh, why? Why would you... Why would you have me do this? 
if I get it right, does it stay like that? Is that what that is? Um... I don't know. Oh, this one. Why was it red? Does that mean I got it wrong? Hopefully all that means is that I got it wrong. Let's go back. Or right, or wrong. Ooh, uh, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Yeah, so I got it wrong, I guess. So we start over. So am I trying to get to a specific room? That is the question. Why do I gotta read this every time? All right. Swap. Why and what am I doing? Was it this one that I had? No, that's red. Oh, jeez. I- clearly red means bad. <laughs> oh! Oh, wait a second! Wait, I think I get it. Hold on. This is the attic, right? This is where I was in the attic, and I'm not- I'm on the first floor, right? Um, where did I? Where did, I'm getting all? I'm getting all turned around. Okay, so well, maybe those two are right. Stairs, right? Nope. Okay, this is the beginning, right? Let me let me take a look. Well, let me back up and look at what we got here. What do we got? All right. Oh, wait a second. Okay, this is this, right? Hold on. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to remember what the house looks like. That's what I'm getting. Maybe that's right. Um, this is the attic. Or maybe I'm supposed to put together what the other house looks like? Give me a second. I'll get it. So this first one is not swapped. And the first one that we're entering has the stairs. Going up. Let me go up here first. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a little bit confusing. So this is originally the little stairs. That's more stairs. Or a little side room or big hallway. Stairs that way, which wouldn't make sense, and a door over there wouldn't make sense. So, this one, okay, okay, maybe I'm slowly working it out. Okay, hold on. So, this is this is the attic right here. Like, when you look through some of them, this is what you see. So, going back this way. We either have more attic and the way down is there or that. 
there's a door there. That one doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I feel like this one makes sense because it's matching the roof, right? Yes. Okay, I get what I'm supposed to do. I get what I'm supposed to do. Also, what's over here? Treasure Island, H.G. Wells, Mark Twain. A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. Stop that. From the Earth to the Moon. G H.P. Lovecraft. Okay. And which one were you reading? The narrative of Arthur Golden Pym of Nan Nan Nantucker Nantucket Edgar Allan Poe. I can't read those names. Okay, so okay, this is so we're so we're supposed to plan out the floor plan. We have the entire top floor. So underneath here. There should be, there's stairs there, but the stairs are that way. So this room might make sense. Probably not this one. I'm gonna say that, wait, not that one. That one. Uh. That one, yes. Cause the wallpaper seems to match, kind of. So in here, this can't be stairs, the stairs are here. So we got a little side room or more hallway. Hold on, I'm pretty sure these are this. So let me just establish that. Let me go around the other side because... Okay, I see, I see. Yes, probably that one, but let me just double check. Yes. Okay. Well, this is making walking through this creepy house less creepy. Is this a real estate agent's dream game? I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. So we got uh, stairs. Um, let's see. What happens when I finish? this. We got tiny stairs and another room and then this side room. Stop. Stop. Stop with the music. Jeez. Uh, I really don't want to start over. I feel like I feel like this is the hold on, what's on the side? What, what was on the side here? So there's another hall or a small room. Actually, okay, that's a hall there. But why would that make sense? The small hall, the small hall, um, This does make sense because they got the hallway leading all the way that way, right? Um, so we got kind of kitchen area, I guess? It's not that one, that's the attic. Matching beams, also matching beams. This one, that one makes sense there. Uh... One of 
those. Ugh, let me just look up here a second. Did I get all the ones up here? This one. Um, I think I... Did I get all the ones up here? This is the attic, right? I got that one. Okay. So, if this room down here is... Not this one. This one is, like, the kitchen area, right? There shouldn't be a door... Over there. What is that? What do I... Is that a wall? It's a wall, right? Not that one. Probably not this one. I'm gonna say it's this one. Okay. Okay, more books. More books! What is this one? No title. just outside. Alright. So... We have... I get out the door. Everything is creepy in this game. Alright. Kitchen-esque room. This is the front door. I'm gonna ignore the music. This one is not... I don't think it's this one, because there's a door there, and I'm pretty sure that's, like, the end of the house, right? I think it's this one, but there's a door back there, and this is, like, there's a balcony. Can I see, like, um, these have to line up, essentially, I guess. So there's, it, the end of the hall... Not this one. So we e so it's either hall and then room that way, or hall straight out with what looks to be another room that way. So either way, the house is going more in that direction. Now the one with the long hall does not go far enough to cover this one. Or this one. And that's a door to, like, maybe outside. Unless it's this one. And there's another door there. This one makes sense for the top roof. This one does not, because there's a, there's a door there. This is the front door. All right, I'm going with this one. Okay, good, there's more. So determining whether this one up here is either this one or this one might come down to what I see downstairs. So let's go down there real quick. We got a little kind of roof balcony here. Alright. What is in here? Uh, it's not this, because this is this. Right? This one is this one, so it's not that. So it could be storage room? Stop with the creaking! Stop. It's not this one. So it's either... That's also a boarded up door, it looks like. Why is the door boarded up? Would that make sense? Oh, wait. That door is boarded. 
this doesn't look exactly right. I feel like this one makes more sense. This is the attic, so it's not that one. Uh, this is the same as the other room over there. There's a door over there. careful because I don't want to do this over again. This is the same as that. Door, beam, cobweb, cabinets. Door, beam, cobweb, cabinets. So does this go here or does it go over there? Because the other option is either this, this one here or this. And there's a window right there. So, let's see. There's- ooh, don't go through yet. There's also a window or a door there, which can't be because there's a wall right here. So I'm gonna say this one. Which means that this one can't be that one that I just did which is this one, and it's not the roof, so it has to be this one. Alright, we're very close to finishing the house. I don't want to know what happens when I finish it, but, you know. So, this is- so, it goes, and we got room here, and then we got windows on that side that is the edge. There is a door or a cabinet on that side. No windows here. So the question is, is it this one, which looks appropriate, I think, or is that too far? It's not this. Is it this? This almost, like, this layout doesn't make sense. Why would you put this Oh, it could go that way. Oh, there's the ramp. There's a ramp there. There's a ramp. Wait, there's a ramp there. Oh. The ramp is here. The ramp is here, and that doorway would be this doorway, which means that window is there it's right there but also that that see how that that wall is too far to line up i think it's this one i think it's this one Oh good, there's- there's more! How is there more? How big is this house? Stairs are over there, so it's not that. Uh... Oh my gosh, okay, so... Windows... Windows, there's a window there. There's a window directly right here. I think that's too close. Yeah, so not that one. I think it's probably this one. I don't know what that was. And that's the same, so if that's that one, probably can't be this one. Which means it's probably this one. That's stairs, so not that one. So, these two? And... Oh, whoa. 
what the heck? Well, I think I did it. Ooh! 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 Ah! Okay, so... Whose house is this? And why do they have a secret room? Or maybe it's not a room, maybe it's just a... I, or maybe it is, I don't know. The, the wall, the door closed in behind me. Alright, well, what do we got? We got a bunch of... stuff. That's... those are the Zodiacs? Right? Those are the Zodiacs and a skeleton. And then mercy, victory, severity, glory, the something day, something, something, somebody holding somebody's skin, face skin. Is that Bigfoot's face? This is very weird and interesting, but more so weird. Okay. Um... All right. Okay. All right. Bird, snake, frog. This is all very... Jeez. Oh, this is all very... Interesting, I suppose. Okay, I'm just looking around at everything. All right. Read. Let's do this. A magician once lived inside an old house, which used to be a big old house, and made potions that let him see the future. People from the village came to the magician's house and demanded he share his potions with them. We want to see the future too, they told him. But the magician said no. The people from the village grew angry and burned the magician's house, but the magician knew this would happen. He had already cast a spell on his potion room. Am I in the potion room? The house burned, but the room did not. The people from the valley waited, but the magician never came out. Oh! Endless hallway? I'll take this. Why are you standing there? You spying? No. No, huh? What the hell's wrong with you exactly? <sighs> Nothing. You need to stop leaving your stupid stories around. They're freaking everyone out. Was that a story that Ethan wrote? And then it came true? Is this the room that is supposedly the potions room? The room that didn't get burned? I'm guessing I'm supposed to read this one first. Oh, this is the thing, yeah. Okay. Blaze reveals moonshine operation. Bayfield County, Ashland Township volunteer firefighters discovered an apparent moonshine still while battling a blaze in the woods off Old Ogden Road. According to authorities, the still comprised a propane stove, a four gallon stainless steel pot, which was used to hold the whiskey mash. Based on the size of the still, Bayfield County Sheriff Hank Schaefel believes it, it may be part of of a small operation. Though he admitted there could be other stills in the county. Officers on the scene recovered a half gallon of apple pie moonshine and one gallon of unflavored moonshine. Apple cider and cinnamon sticks were found adjacent to the still. The police have been unable to determine who owns the still. Sheriff Schaefel said a cigarette butt tossed at the scene likely caused the fire. Okay, so...
it may be part of a small operation, though he admitted there could be other stills in the county. That makes it sound like they're not allowed to make alcohol, to make moonshine. But either way, a fire, possibly caused by a cigarette, caused it to go ablaze. NASA launches AT6 satellite. Cape Canaveral, Florida. NASA launched what has been called the world's first educational satellite in Florida today, giving the United States a powerful edge in telecommunication technology. The application's technology, Satellite 6, will directly broadcast educational programming to several countries, including the United States, Canada, India, and Australia. NASA believes the satellite will remain in constant contact with Earth for at least the next five years. That seems unrelated, but is probably significant. Okay. All right, so. Well, small little moonshine operation here. Interesting. Well, I'm leaving. So if Ethan wrote that little story that there was a magician, who was the magician in Ethan's eyes? Because that would be the person making the magician, the person making the moonshine. Would be... Alright. I guess we solved that mystery. Let me just walk around the outside of the house if I can. I cannot. That is a very close to the edge built house. A cigarette butt. Mm, ooh, what the heck, JR? There's a basement. I'm glad that was not part of the house, unless it was. So clearly the plan the floor plan that I explored is way bigger than this. And that letter... Ethan wrote that... Where am I going? In the letter, Ethan wrote that... Uh, he changed big house to old house. I'm assuming it's Ethan that wrote it. It may not have been. But whoever it was, the magician in their eyes was... The person who made the moonshine was, like, the magician. And then the house burned down. And then the room that didn't burn down was the room that I ended up in. But it did look burned down. I don't know. I'm a little confused and there's still uh, questions, but... I'm sure we'll get to that. This is the next house. Do I have to make the floor plan for this one too? Oh boy. Ooh boy. Ooh, ooh, boy. Okay. But I'm gonna wait on that for the next episode. So, slowly piecing together what is happening here. And it's creepy. Like, nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. It's just sounds and the, the environment. But it's still creepy. It's freaking me out. Uh, but I want to see, I want to get the whole story. So I'm going to continue this in the next episode. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this.